Today I'm going to show you what resources I use to develop my i4 and, and get inspiration from my designs. And those are websites, YouTube channels, newsletters, and my goal for this video is to help you out there improve the designs of your apps. Before we dive into the resources, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to help you get a beautiful online portfolio or website up and running very quickly. So head over to squarespace.com slash Sean Allen to check them out. First up, we have Dribble. That is Dribble with three Bs, not two Bs. So don't be confused by that. But as you can see, you can just scroll through a bunch of uh, design inspiration. Uh, they have mobile websites. You know, you see up here in the upper right, that looks kind of like an iPad app. Could be a website, I guess. So if you don't have anything specific you're looking for, of course, you can just come in here and scroll. You can see mobile designs, again, mobile website, all kinds of great design inspiration uh, to kind of spark ideas for your app. Now, again, this is just general browsing what I'm doing right now, and you can do that. What I like to use Dribble for is more focused searching because there's a search bar up here. I'll show you how I used it recently for an app I'm working on that has to do with calendars and scheduling. So what I did was I just went up here and did calendar uh, UI and hit return and it pulled up the search. And all I did was I was scrolling down through here because now you're gonna get all kinds of calendar UIs for iPad, websites, and I was just looking for inspiration. So how I use this is if I see something I like, uh, for example, I kind of like this Gantt chart looking calendar, I would do a screenshot of it and I start building a folder called like calendar UI inspiration. And in there I'll have, you know, 50 screenshots of some of the calendars that I liked. Like here's a, a new Morphic design one. You know, that, I, I feel like new Morphic is already played out. That didn't last very long. Uh, but you see what I'm, I'm going for here. I just scroll through here and any calendar I like that kind of looks like what I'm going for, I start building a folder of the inspiration. And the idea here is like, you don't wanna just blindly copy one person's UI. You wanna like take a little bit from here, take a little bit from there. And you know, through 50 different uh, ideas, you can start to build your own unique looking one. Again, taking a little bit from here, a little bit from there. So that's the idea. That's how I use Dribble. Like I said, you can do just basic browsing or if you want a more targeted search, like let's say you're building a fitness app, fitness uh, UI. And I haven't tested this one. This was just off the cuff. Uh, so we'll see what we get. But yeah, you can see some, some fitness related UI. So again, whatever type of app you're building, come in here, type it into the Dribble search and you're gonna get all kinds of inspiration. And after you've scoured Dribble, if you want even more inspiration for your app, there's another website that's very similar called Behance? Behance? I don't know what it's actually called. I call it Behance because obvious reasons, but it may be called Behance. Anyway, uh, very similar to Dribble, same concept, uh, but if you want more that's not on Dribble, you can check out Behance as well. Another thing I like to read is an online design magazine called Muesli. Uh, if you scroll here, you can see all kinds of blog posts, right? UI interactions of the week. Let's click into this. Uh, so this will show, uh, the, this is like a weekly article that'll show UI uh, interactions. So this is like moving videos that you're gonna see uh, to get inspiration on animations maybe for your app. That's just one example, but I'm not gonna click into any others. Look, design handoff made easy, floating action buttons, bottom left or bottom right, uh, mobile app redesign, basic color interaction design, uh, you know, design systems, what, bitch, all kinds of design topics that are in blog posts. So this is something I check on a regular basis. And of course I don't read every article, but if an article pops out, like I haven't checked this in a couple days, like this basics of color interaction, I'm definitely gonna read that one. That's interesting to me. So that's another resource. Again, it's an online magazine called Muesli. I'll link to this in the description as well, but just tons of design related blog posts, again, to just improve your learning. This isn't so much for inspiration. Well, I guess the you know UI interactions of the week or UI inspiration of the week, they do offer inspiration, but this is more so for just building your, your knowledge uh, in the design world. Now, real quick, I don't want to say developers have to be design professionals. Of course not. But if you build these design skills, they like it's only going to help you. Like These skills transfer across all kinds of disciplines, if you will, right? Like I've used these design skills, not only in apps, websites, portfolios, my resume, putting together consulting proposals, right? I put some good design into it. So a good design, in my opinion, just gives it that extra polish that, you know, adds some credibility to what you're working on, right? You could be working on the most amazing app. If it looks like crap, the unfortunate truth is people do judge a book by its cover. Like whether you believe in that or not, it's, it's fact. So I highly encourage you to at least get some basic design knowledge. Again, I am not saying developers have to be design professionals, but I do believe having baseline knowledge and baseline uh, an eye for it will really benefit you in your career. Next, we have a YouTube channel I've been spending a lot of time on lately, and that is the future. Um, there's a lot of like big picture stuff on like building building brands overall. Like they do a whole 
like show about how they took like this beer company and how they rebuilt their entire brand logo you know identity and all that stuff but they do have more practical stuff on here like you know the typography manual basically like typography 101 type stuff if you scroll down you can get to like uh branding ui ux design user stories feature prioritization uh this is more like high level stuff that the main future website but the future academy over here this is where you get into the nitty gritty here like logo redesign like they'll talk through how they redesign their logo uh they'll you know typography critique three design principles how to use color i believe there's another one over here like for uh, like you know how to make great color palettes three design tips so i i just watch this stuff for leisure like like i said i'm genuinely interested in it i don't watch this stuff just to like oh i need to i need to learn design for my app like i don't know for me this is just genuinely interesting and like i just mentioned having a good design eye and, and just basic design skills is not only good for your apps, it's gonna carry over into many, many other things in your life, uh, believe it or not. Next, let's talk about Apple. And I just have their website up here uh, just to show you, but Apple has this beautiful, clean, minimalistic, simple design, right? I think a lot of us are Apple uh, fans, and I think that's part of the reason why we like Apple. Again, clean, minimal, simplistic. Um, and you can take Apple's design cues and implement that into your app. And I'm not saying just blindly copy Apple. However, there is something to be said for wanting your app to feel native on the iOS platform. So even just taking small design cues from Apple can really achieve that goal. And like one, one example is you see this onboarding screen a lot, like or like the what's new screen. Um, and now you see these kind of buttons, right? The long rectangular buttons with the rounded corners, you're right? Using those type of buttons, using this, you know, what's new screen, little design cues like that, large uh, navigation titles. Again, just make your app feel like it belongs on the iOS platform. Now. There is an argument for creating your own unique looking thing, and I, I'm not discounting that. Um, but there are a lot of apps that can really benefit, again, from feeling native on the platform. Here we have a site called UI Movement. Uh, it's also a newsletter you can subscribe to if you want this kind of stuff right in your inbox. But as the website name suggests, it is inspiration for you know movement interactions, animations, and you can see what's going on on the screen here. Uh, let's look at this one up, up at the top, right? The credit card, your spending. You can see the animation and interactions, right? We got this cloud download icon, but just like you know Dribble and all that stuff, you can scroll down here and get a bunch of inspiration for how your app can animate. All right here's a calendar app, as you can see, scrolling. Uh, this is a little uh, example of a tab bar. That's pretty cool. You see that line going across. Again, it's just inspiration right just like i said when we were uh going back to to dribble you know take a little bit from here a little bit from there and how you develop your design eye over time is right you don't just do this one day and then you're good at design like what i showed you is what i've been doing for the past five years every time i'm working at a new startup and we're building a new app or if i have a side project we're building or if i want to you know build my portfolio website i do this kind of process that we just did where i look for all this uh, inspiration and like I said, you just over time slowly start developing an eye for it, right? You get better with practice and repetition over time. So I recommend making this part of your, not your daily routine, that might be a bit much, but I don't know, maybe once a week, have some design uh, websites that you wanna visit that you go check out once a week just for, for inspiration. And after you've got that design inspiration, you've built a beautiful looking app, you probably wanna throw that into a portfolio. And hell, you can even use this design to build your portfolio. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Squarespace. Now, like I said before, Squarespace is that all-in-one platform to help you, the iOS developer, get your portfolio up and running very quickly. You can start taking some of all this design inspiration and put that into your portfolio uh, using Squarespace. Now, I know as a software developer, you may want to build the website yourself, but again, we're iOS developers. We want to build apps. There's a lot that goes into building and maintaining the website, right? Making sure it's responsive on all screen sizes, right? Mobile, huge iMac screens, making sure it works properly on all the different browsers. There's a lot that goes into it, and Squarespace can take care of all that headache for you. Not to mention the analytics, the SEO. They even have a ton of beautiful themes for you to choose from to get started. So when you're ready to start building your portfolio, head on over to squarespace.com to get started. And when you're ready to launch that thing, make it official. Go to squarespace.com slash Sean Allen to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, so those are my design resources that I use. Again, we have Dribble, Behance, uh, the online magazine Muesli, uh, UI movement, just taking cues from Apple itself, uh, the Futures YouTube channel. And, and there's so many more out there, but I highly recommend you do this like once a week just to, again, start working that design muscle. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you in the next one.